Hi Church family, Pastor John here. I want to take a little time to give you a building update for those of you who do not know. In the last couple years we had a number of renovation projects on the church building and that was just really part of what we want to do. So what we've done with uh, some other people in the church is look at what, what else do we need to do to make the church more hospitable? What do we need to do to make it safer? And uh, also just more inviting. And so as we've talked about that as different leadership teams and talked through different building plans, we've identified uh, what we were calling building phase two. And so building phase two really involves three different areas. We talked about this recently at the family gathering, but we didn't get into a lot of detail. So I'd like to share that with you now. Number one, the building phase two involves uh, grounds work and exterior building. One of those items is just to make it safer, so better lighting outside, lighting in the parking lot, lighting around you know, the uh, exterior of the building. Especially come the winter months, it just gets so dark out here and we want people to be able to not trip and fall as they're walking into church, it's a reasonable thing. Um, so we wanna make that safer. We'll also update the, um, the security of the church in terms of doors and getting in and getting out. Another issue that's really important to everybody is that we repaved all of the parking lot and we're currently waiting on some good sunshine to be able to do the striping and finish up that job but really it's a lot better especially for people with wheelchairs and have difficulty getting in on walkers and stuff. That's going to be a real blessing to them and certainly as other people come into the church we want that to be a blessing to them as well. So that's part of what we've done grounds wise, but the real lion's share of the project in building phase two is the second part. And that's going to be the kids wing. As many of you know that have kids and you go down the stairs into the kids wing, there's so much of the rest of the building there that has been practically untouched for a long time. And so we want to update that. We want to make it more hospitable. We believe as a church that um, our fourth value on everyday mission that we want to be engaging to our culture. We want to be engaging to our people and one of the best ways for us to do that up here in the Pacific Northwest is just by being hospitable. People love it if there's a uh, welcoming environment and so we want to make the kids ministry more fun and more welcoming for sure. So as you go down the stairs into the kids wing here's some things that you will see hopefully in building phase two. Uh, new check-in area. So rather than having all the check-in upstairs, which is pretty tight, kind of pinched going down the stairs, we want to open up the hallway a little bit. So move a wall, make check-in against the wall where it's easier for people to come in, whether upstairs or downstairs in the future. And, and then be able to go down to the classrooms, new carpet or uh, flooring, uh, new paint, new light fixtures, so everything's brighter and just easier to operate. All the classrooms also have cabinetry and sinks and uh, storage and so all that will be updated as well. And the, the third and the last part of building phase two is the kitchen. Now uh, the kitchen that we have is functional but for many years it seems uh, that there's been a, a need to do some updating to it and design it differently and we've definitely seen that with the needs that we have. Many of you uh, may not be aware but we have community groups meeting in people's homes, but also up at the church. And as we have people meeting at the church, we want to make it more inviting for new people, certainly, but also just more functional, easy to use, that kind of thing. And so the third part with the kitchen work is going to just really involve a total remodel project for the kitchen, where we're going to have new appliances, move some windows around on the back wall, uh, better storage and uh, flooring and just all new finishes that will hopefully make it a lot easier to use and just more inviting as people come in too. We recognize that as, as people come into the building for the first time, then come into the fellowship hall, which is great, it's beautiful, it works, great place for people to spend time together. But then even the kitchen, that we want that to be somewhat of an overflow of hospitality. So that's the three parts of building phase two. And we're really excited about it. And I'm sure as we get closer to the timeline of working all these things out that we'll, we'd love to have you come out and help on some things. And uh, regarding the timeline, we're just waiting for permitting. So as soon as we get the permitting back, we will go back to our contractors and say, hey, here's everything that the county says we can do or we can't do. 
and then they'll, they'll take it and give us a hard bid and uh, hopefully a hard timeline. And so as the months progress here, I'll be able to give you an update and let you know what the plan is. But for now, we're just in the waiting phase and uh, hopefully looking towards the future. So I hope the update here on the building stuff encourages you. I, I ask you just to keep in mind that um, as we go through all this, we're not just trying to build a nicer building for ourselves. That's not, that's certainly not the goal. That's not the aim. That's not what God calls us to in the gospel. Rather, we're, we're trying to make the space that we have be inviting, be hospitable, be good stewards of what we have, and have this uh, building and resources and, and gathering for generations yet to come. So I hope that encourages you, and uh, I'll see you on the next update.